Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be taking a look at the YouTube Ghost Network. Now this is interesting because I have talked about this for so long, in fact this was really the reason I pretty much got into making YouTube videos, was to talk about it. Uh, so YouTube has always had a malware problem, and you can see on my channel plenty of videos, some of them with quite a lot of views talking about this. And this is coming from Checkpoint Software, a malware analysis cybersecurity company, I don't know that much about them, but they've been investigating this and analyzed the YouTube ghost network. I kind of like the title they've given it. I always referred to it sort of as a YouTube worm, because much like how a mail worm works, this malware network, although this isn't fully automated, it is actually threat actors having to do some dirty work to get this done. The way it works is you'll end up with something that looks like a Fortnite skin swapper. You'll download it, and it will then hijack a few of the YouTube channel, and upload videos promoting the fake Fortnite skin swapper to more people. So even when YouTube takes them down, more drop up. Now they say they were able to report these. Now that's not an easy feat. I've tried to get YouTube to take down content. It's impossible. It's almost as impossible as trying to get YouTube to put back up content of yours that they've mistakenly taken down. There is one route for certain companies and non-government organizations still within the trusted flagger system, and I believe that's how they got these taken down. So this has been going since 2021, yeah, I think it's more like 2019, and there's been a steady output, and the creation has apparently tripled. Well, I actually tracked that, and I, yeah, I can, I can believe that. So they primarily target the game hacks and cheats, and a certain type of bad naval activity that I am not allowed to talk about for fear of getting another strike. Uh, it is important to emphasize that the use of bad naval practices violates naval law, and that such versions frequently contain hidden malware. The most viewed malicious video in our dataset targets uh, Adobe. And the second is FL Studio, which is interesting because ImageLine, the company that makes that, aggressively DMCAs anything that looks like bad naval activity involving FL Studio. I actually had a video talking about the FL Studio scam back in 2020. 20, I think, and it got to, they DMCA'd it. I tried talking to them, they were they didn't want to play ball, and I didn't want to counter notice it because they're crazy and they might actually sue me. Uh, but that happened. Uh, they're, now they were mostly using Luma, but they seem to have switched to Radamanthes. Uh, overall, the majority of the malware distributed by the YouTube Ghost Network consists of info stealers. Yes, and they've been trying to use uh, Google Ads campaigns, especially for people looking for software. So ghost networks, they've been covering for a while. Uh, this was a GitHub malware, which we've talked about. We've made a few videos about this as well. And this operated on GitHub. Now this is a YouTube ghost network. I just, I love the title. I should have thought of that. Now they receive positive engagement. And that is likely because they're using the hacked computers to like and view them to bot it. 2025, it's grown and it's not clear why. I think it's always been there. It got worse, because uh, there were always people who would upload this, but the idea of then repurposing their channels to upload more s scams seemed to take off. It started, and we'll go to my YouTube channel, because I have some of these videos up still. Go to here. Uh, this, is, this is essentially the OG, and these guys, they would send you an email saying they wanted to sponsor you, and uh, we would see, and this was a pretty, uh, so they would use like a Soviet Union domain, they would have a fake cloud gaming scam, and they would target, they would steal YouTube channels, which they could then use, uh, they would, I, I have it in the thumbnail of this next video, uh, they would turn your channel into a fake Tesla so that they could stream a fake giveaway. That was the original scam. And then they figured out that smaller YouTube channels could still be useful, uh, because a lot of people will search for new videos. And let's see, if, has this been shut down? I'm skeptical. So we'll go, we'll go right through, we'll do something that Minecraft hacks, which is popular through... This is actually looking solid, but have they gotten rid of the problem or hidden the problem from the search engine? That we'll have to check. And then here, yes, they got the video accounts, which upload the scam videos, and the post accounts, which publish community messages and posts. Now this is something, because YouTube's policy system is so utterly broken, like, I'm sorry, I, I, I that's the truth. It's broken. It's like, it's broken in a way that I would say eclipses any other social media system uh, um, especially beyond videos, what they're doing here is using the about pages of channels uh, as a place to put malicious links. The report system for channels, it does, there is a button for that. It doesn't work. I don't know. It goes to DevNull. It doesn't matter how ridiculous the channel is. It doesn't work. The only way 
is through Trusted Flaggers. So that's another thing where YouTube is basically turned into a bulletproof hosting service. And then they also have accounts which are either faking engagement or commenting saying, yeah, this worked great. Uh, oh, here's one. Disabled Windows Defender. Yep, I think I might even made a video on that one. Here we go. Pixel Gun 3D. And this is an account that was hacked. And in some cases, the victim will never get their channel back. And yes, they always tell you, you got to turn off Windows Defender. And they'll send you a encrypted archive. And then it switched to Radamanthes as Luma Stealer started to decline, although it's still there. And as we can see, game hacks are the dominant source. Crypto trading bots is also sort of interesting. I covered one. And the crypto, the trading ones will sometimes also use Google Ads. So, okay, let's try changing the point. The search a bit for a free Minecraft hack client. And it looks like all we had to do was change the keyword. Because YouTube has some keywords where the new filter doesn't actually work. Maybe this isn't, maybe this one is legit. One way you can tell these videos is they're very, uh, I think that means in the comments. I don't know. Uh, one of the ways you can tell is these all look very formulaic. There'll be tons of these videos that all have the same thing. It does genuinely seem like there is, uh, they are starting to, okay, here we go. We found one. Yep, password 2025. And this is going to be some sort of Luma Stealer. But it does seem like they have gotten a better handle than they used to, and maybe this will be a positive improvement. Oh, and Chrome has detected this as dangerous. I must need to turn off safe browsing. That's actually also a positive improvement because this is an encrypted archive, which I've never seen Chrome flag. Unless it actually isn't encrypted. We're going to throw that on any run and we'll just see. I will say one thing Google have done well is the Chrome virus scanner is actually really good now. In fact, I would say it is. it has better detection rates than Windows Defender does. Kind of sad. Windows Defender isn't great, but Chrome actually has pretty good built-in virus scanning. And I'm curious how, if, the, if it's an encrypted archive, how it would be able to detect, unless it's just rapidly collecting signatures. <laughs> right, I just assumed the thing was infected. No, it's 2025. That's fine. So it's encrypted. So it must either have like a list of passwords to try or some sort of heuristic. So we run this, and it's just, we've just stumped. Oh, and the info stealer has immediately started. So this seems to be using the spawn in debug mode method, and also a Windows Media Player. So I guess that's, maybe that's for the C2. That's super weird. You can see it's got the Delphi stealer. Okay, so there is still plenty of malware, but it does seem like there's been a genuine improvement here, uh, which... Thank you to Checkpoint for investigating this and, and getting YouTube to see, yeah, there, there's a problem here, which is good to see. We can try some others. Let me go filter this, and we can see, okay. Okay, that's still really bad. We can see in action here, uh, you know, the same thing that I mentioned. Oh, it must be, yeah, it's edited. Okay, because I was thinking three years ago. So maybe they're... Maybe that's a new tactic they're using, where they're buying an old uh, or a new account. It's kind of interesting watching these threats evolve, and we're going to download this one, and then we're going to try this one as well. So 3030 is the password. And we'll throw this one on the sandbox as well, because why not? That's kind of funny. They even have... So I wonder if the method... Because in an zi encrypted zip file, you can actually still view the names of the files. So I wonder if the method Chrome... I wonder if it's doing heuristics on that, because this one is a double... Oh, and it's double encrypted kind of interesting so we're going to run this and i have a feeling this is going to be oh instant steel c has been detected d5 launcher i don't even know what that is of course it's not it's not whatever this is i know that much about it and immediately uh, we can see that it's launched ms edge and it's probably launched it in debug mode because that's the new trick because of the system process that is supposed to keep the secrets safe well they've found a way around that there we go. So that is going to be all for this video. Uh, shout out to Checkpoint. I will include a link to their research for trying to help with this problem and definitely bringing attention to how much malware is being on YouTube. I mean, there's always been the guys like, you know, people like that 
geek bone guy that is clearly run by a person who is specifically targeting people with malware. But now we've got this other problem of these automated networks that are just going everywhere, and it's going to be good to see that hopefully shutting down. Remember, don't trust random YouTube tutorials, especially don't trust recently uploaded videos. Always a good idea as well. Now let's click through to this channel. We're going to see, like, is this a Valorant channel? No. Uh, we go a bit back. We can see, see, this is completely different content this channel made. So this sudden change is another massive red flag to Among Us sussy wussy hacks. So that's going to be all from me for now. Bye.